Introduction Hey Jackie, look at this. It looks like a ball, but it's not a real ball. Then what is this? Harry, this is a shadow of a football. It is formed because the football has blocked the sun's light. So now let us learn more about shadow and its formation. Objectives At the end of this course, you will be able to recognize a shadow, explain the formation of a shadow, find the direction of a shadow based on the location of the source of light. Hi friends, at first let's discuss what a shadow is. Actually a shadow is an area of darkness which is formed when the light is blocked by an object. You'll be surprised to know that the direction of the shadow changes with the changes in the direction of the source of the light. For example, shadow of these trees changes as the sun moves from east to west during the day. During all day, sometimes it becomes long and sometimes short. Let's see how this happens. As we all know, that the sun rises in the east. In the morning, the sun is in the east, so the shadow of the object forms in the west. Now just look at its length. The length of the shadow changes as the sun moves to its west. Now it's noon and the sun is overhead. Did you notice the shadow of this tree? The shadow of the tree now becomes small. Friends, as we all know that sun sets in west, hence in the evening, the shadow of the object forms in the east. So friends, we notice that as the sun changes its position, the length of the shadow of an object also changes. Hey friends, did you notice one more thing? That the shadow is always formed opposite to the direction of the source of light. Summary Now friends, let's summarize what we have learned. A shadow is an area of darkness. It is formed when the light is blocked by an object. It changes its direction and length with time during the day. It is always formed opposite to the direction of the source of the light.